Gentlemen, let's talk about BMSs. That's right, battery management systems. All right, let me tell you why this is the best smart BMS in the market today, all right? On this side, we have the dumb BMSs. These are BMSs that are preset in the factory and they only do the thing that they were set to do, right? This one runs 8S, 24 volts, and this one runs lithium iron phosphate. Now, if you uh, got the wrong one and you wanna use lithium cobalt oxide cells, for example, no, nope, you can't do it. This one is set, all the voltages, all the, uh, the balancing settings, they're all set in the factory and you can't change them. Same thing with this thing. This one is for 7S, 24 volts, 100 amps, right? Let's say that you wanted to optimize your battery so that it runs, so that it does the balancing, not at the very top, but it does it somewhere in the middle. Nope, you can't set it up. That's just what it is. Now, these are great, right? These are great. I've been using these. These are super cheap, super affordable, but remarkably, they've been uh, pretty consistent and they've been working out. The same thing with this one, right? Uh, but you can change them. And the other huge thing is that you never know if they're working or they're not working, right? These things do their thing or don't. <laughs> but if your device doesn't turn off, then you don't know if they're protecting your battery or not. It's just you're trusting that it does it or it does that it does, right? Now, here on the other side, we have the smart BMSs. And this, is, of course, are like the batriums of the world. Uh, this one right here is really good because it's got a little screen that shows you how, you know, a bunch of information about your battery, right? This one, it's also, you can set it if you wanna use th uh, 6S, right, for 24 volts or 22 volts, then you can do it. If you wanna use 15S, 14S, a 28 volt, or all the way to 16S, then you can do it with this one. You can set it up, right? Here's another one that is that I talked about recently, right? This is the, uh, the lithium, very good. The problem with this one and this one is that you required a computer. Uh, and it's the same thing with the Batrium. You require a computer that runs either Windows or Linux or something, and then you need to have all the, um, well, yeah, you need to have all your drivers and very specific cable and programs to download in like terminal windows. And well, if, if you know your way around computers, great, you, you'll be able to figure this out. But if you're someone like me and uh, you, the rest of the world who does and understand computers to that level, then uh, this is gonna be really hard, right? And so it's either easy, but you get what you get, or it's hard to set up, but you get all kinds of uh, options to be able to set exactly how you want your battery, right? This is how it's been up until now, because enter the Electrodocus. The Electrodocus was designed by Dacian from Canada, and this guy did a very, very good job. This thing is beautifully made. Uh, it's a work of art, in my opinion. Uh, he has designed the best features from both of these. These ones are easy to set up. This one's easy to set up. Uh, very, very configurable on the smart. Very, very configurable, right? But this one, you don't need a computer to set. Well, this one, you don't need a computer to set. This is the first and probably the only BMS system that is highly configurable that you don't need an external device to set it up. This one has all right there. Right, and he's made several versions. This is the 120, 120 uh, amps, right? With, with dual, uh, and it's also not just a BMS. This one it includes a solar charge controller, um, a logger, all kinds of things, right? This is a very, very powerful system, right? And so the reason I'm making this video is because uh, this has been available in the market, but it's been traditionally hard to get because he makes them in small batches, right? He uh, Dacian himself has made every batch and he makes these with attention to detail and other stuff, right? And so the problem is that because even though this is the best one and it should be one of the most popular low voltage uh, BMSs out there, it's not because it's hard to get, right? And so people can't wait. Yeah, they don't know where to order it and stuff. And so now the reason I'm making this video is because this has been redesigned by 3D Brothers. These guys are really good at what they do uh, and they have taken 
the task of redesigning this and optimizing the design so it could be mass produced. And if it's mass produced, that means that we will be able to get it quicker. It will be able to be uh, stocked in, for example, my online store, Jack35, and I will be able to ship it, right? Now, the problem is that it is currently paying. There's a crowdfunding crowdfunded campaign to be able to fund the first production and so we're running out of time and it doesn't look right now like promising right and so that's why i'm making this video to be able to to, to see if you guys will help out let me show you how how easy this thing it is to set up right and just run you through the uh just to the menus and stuff so you can get a feel of how easy this thing it is to set all right, here I have set it on top of one of stacks of my boards. By the way, these are available on Jack 35. They're pre-populated boards with batteries, 24 volts. Okay, so when you first turn this on, it goes through that little, runs through that little setup there. Uh, it's got Wi-Fi, and so you'll be able to connect to a network and be able to monitor it remotely using either a computer or using a uh, an app for a mobile device, right? So here we go. In order to set it up, right? Let's say that you you, you want to know, you want to read about this and want to know what it is and how it works and stuff. Well, there's an install steps, right? It walks you right through everything. It tells you everything you need to know, essentially, right? So here's eight pages of instruction. And then you go back right and then you get to see the full manual right here right i mean look at that it's got sections so you click ok 19 pages of how to set it up what are best practices how to do all this stuff right none of these other bms's do that right this is as far as i know the only one in the market that does it this way and it does it this good uh 10k per mister installing the main board it explains how this thing works uh, let's see, let's go back. So now parameters and settings, right? So this little connector here, right? This is this little connector. How do, how do you connect that? Well, pretty easy. It's got a diagram there and it tells you, right? And so I have pre-programmed this uh, with lithium coal oxide, but of course you can change that. You can, let's say that you, you don't have that. Now you, you wanna set up uh, lithium iron phosphate, for example, another very popular battery. Or let's say that you're doing some weird setup and you want to use, uh, um, what is this? LTO. LTO is a new, uh, you know, type of batteries. Or let's say you're doing capacitors or super caps, right? The 2.3 version or the 2.5 volt version of them. You could totally do it and you could set it up here. Uh, the number of amount of cells, the battery capacity, you can store the parameters. You could even go into, uh, you know, number of cells, battery capacity, over voltage. You, you can choose where the over voltage happens, right? If you want to optimize your battery for longevity, then that means you want to leave, you want to stay away like 5% away from the edges of the, of the voltage curve of the batteries. You can come in here and pre-program all that stuff so that you can run your batteries uh in a way that it will last you for a very very long time right so you can or let's say you don't want that let's say you want to optimize your battery pack for for performance you know power and so you can come in here and set it to use like the the full amount you know uh of the voltage right um you can set under delays for under voltage and for all this other stuff how many pages this is 35 pages of this stuff uh, 35 different settings under voltage lock, low voltage change, over current delay, short circuit current, 192 amps. You can totally set that up when you want this thing to recognize a short uh, circuit, right? Um, so this is all pre-programmed with things from the factory, but of course you can come in here and change it. Uh, cell balance, max, right like uh four volts cell balance minimum uh 10 millivolts i guess once it hits 10 millivolts it'll stop trying to balance the max delta is uh 900 millivolts balance cell on time it's six seconds cell balance off two seconds oh my god there's just 
crazy amounts of flexibility and uh, yeah, of parameters that you can change here. It's pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, what is this plug right here, you might be asking? Well, let's look it up. You just go back, you go to the automation one here, you click OK, bam, there it is, right? It tells you how to connect the thing there, what all the pins are, what they do. So you can set up some automation, you can set up some um, external relays, you can set this thing to turn on certain equipment that has the right protocols. This is a pretty powerful little device and it's gonna be available widely if this campaign just happens to get funded. So I hope I somehow was able to convince you that this thing needs to exist, right, in this form so that it's widely available so that everyone can use it and everyone can set up small to medium to big systems using it, right? Uh, and if that is the case, then I urge you to go click on the link below on the description of this video so that you can support the crowdfunding campaign that is currently going on for the, elect the redesign electric ducus, right? So if I did that and you do plan to uh, support this project, I want to thank you for that. Uh, and I want to thank you for all your support. And I want to thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. I have some good stuff coming, some good projects, uh, including building and finishing this giant power wall that you have behind here. So thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. And then you have to Once leave it kind of open. It. You have to kind of leave it open. Oh no, that's not the right way to do it. You're gonna leave it open because then you have to put the face in. Oh so no. Put the face back in. No, all this stuff should be going through the front. You have to hold it. Okay, no, but that's an easy, that's an easy change. Yeah. We just change that cable. In fact, we could we could try one on, because I could make a long cable just right now, like custom.